Hey guys, Prime here with another TF2 commentary. Today I'm going to be showing you something that's become a little bit of a labor of love for me over the last week or so, and it's something that I intend on continuing over the next uh, few months until I get it just right. Uh, I am a little bit of a perfectionist, so it's probably going to take me a while. But what we have here is Jump Prime or Jump Prime Time. This is the alpha build right now. It's kind of in a raw state. I don't have the lighting done yet. And I'm not really too sure on what I want to do for props, but I do know that it's going to be a three course jump map for Soldier. Uh, currently only supports blue team. If you try to spawn on red team on the map, you end up in that box up there. Uh, but course one is going to be your basic jumps. There's ten jumps to course one. Course two is going to be your intermediate uh, to advanced jumps, and that will be uh, it will be probably about 15 jumps long. And then course 3 is going to be extremely difficult jumps, or at least jumps that I think will be extremely difficult. I'm sure those of you out there in the community that have uh, a lot more rocket jumping skill than I do, because I'm just a lowly medic main, uh, will be able to complete the course no problem. But that will probably have about 10 jumps as well. Uh, course number 1 is the only one I currently have complete. As you can see, I still have uh, the trigger texture here because I haven't tied it to an entity, and that's to let me know uh, that I still need to work on course two. Um, but I do have all of the jumps as far as the mechanics of the jumps completed for course one, so I wanted to kind of show you, show them to you guys and see what you thought, and maybe you can uh, give me some feedback. So this is jump number one, just a single rocket jump. Uh, there are a few cosmetic things that I haven't done. I kind of like the idea of leaving this skybox open. Um, kind of making it look like a series of outdoor boxes. Um, this is just a simple two, uh, two rocket wall jump, followed by number three, which is another just simple, rather than going horizontally, you just go vertically. And as you can see, I, I really like the look of that skybox when you come up over the top of three. Uh, this is just a simple pogo. If I wasn't bad at rocket jumping, I would have completed that. Also, when I'm running fraps for some reason, I tend to get a little bit of a lag on my rockets, so it makes it a little harder to jump. But hey, I'm a medic man. I'll take any excuse I can get to not be good. Uh, there's just a simple air strafe. I think I want to tweak those walls just a little bit, maybe uh, bring them a little further out to make the strafe a little more difficult. But this is supposed to be the introductory course to the to the map, so I kind of want to keep it somewhat simple. Um, that being said, we go into what I think is the most difficult jump of this particular uh, course, and that's the sink. I'm sure there are some of you that will disagree, but uh, for an, a beginner rocket jumper or an... Uh, Intermediate rocket jumper sinks can still be a little bit of a uh, problem. As you can see, I still have some work to do with the detailing, but the mechanics of the jumps are all uh, ironed out for the most part. Number seven is just a straight skip shot or speed shot or whatever you want to call it. Pretty self explanatory. Number eight looks similar to number five, however, uh, it's a pogo instead of a wall jump instead of a strafe and my rocket doesn't want to fire because fraps is locked out at 60 frames a second for some reason so there we go <laughs> and they threw a nice little easter egg in here just a little red sentry locked in her room just like the red red soldiers will be hit this month um, once again, a little bit more detailing work to have to have done. Uh, number nine, pretty self-explanatory. This is a straight uh, wall jump. However, I can't seem to get the height. Yeah, Fraps is really messing with my rocket jumps. There we go. <laughs> and then number 10, uh, basically you shoot off that wall and you shoot off that wall. I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to do it here. 
uh, I can probably get it about one out of five times. But that's a pretty advanced jump um, for beginners, so I think it's a nice jump to end on. And then once you teleport, actually, you know what? We're going to do this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, we'll just no clip through. And uh, we'll try to teleport back to spawn. There we go. <laughs> Let's turn no clip off. Alright, so that's Jump Prime right now. Um, like I said, I just have Course 1 complete. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know of any improvements you might see, uh, any suggestions for future jumps that you might like me to incorporate into the second or third course. Um, as I update the map and keep it, uh, it's not really ready for release yet. I want to at least get uh, Course 1 and 2 complete before I release it in an alpha form to uh, let people play test on their own servers. Um, but if you like what you see and you're interested in running it on your server, once I get everything complete, let me know, and I'll be happy to send you a copy of the file. Um, that's about it, guys. Appreciate you watching the video. Take care, and I'll see you when I see you.